So the first thing I would do, I would take my taser and I would go for the scrub. Okay, I'll put him down. Hey, I'm James A. Janice, and some of you may know me as Dead Meat. If you do, you probably already know that I love to watch people die. You know, like on screen. I've always wanted to talk to the horror legends who put those kills on screen and find out what scares them, and also if they could survive their favorite kill scenes. This is Meetup. Today's guest, horror legend Tony Todd. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Today we're here with legendary actor Tony Todd in the heart of Hollywood at this restaurant Jidlada, which uh, you picked for us, Tony. Yeah, I, I've been coming here for about the last six years. You're ordering for us today. Well, uh, let me tell you just in case, because you may be overwhelmed when you see all the goodness that comes out. Okay. We got a little Tom Kai soup, which is your basic coconut soup with shrimp in it. I forgot to tell them though, whether how hot you could handle. Oh. I didn't tell them dragon heat. I didn't tell him like little baby squirrel heat. Okay. So it's gonna be a surprise. So Hopefully it's somewhere take, in the middle there. Yeah, I want you to take your first swallow in between questions, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and then we got a little crying tiger, which is a, a Filipino trick treat that they do with meat and, and spices. Ooh. And I think we have a little, uh, what else, a cocoa mango salad. Great, and you also got some uh, Thai iced tea. We have Thai iced tea. Which delicious. Which, delicious, and um, it brings out the seven-year-old and everybody. <laughs> Tony, you've been working for, for decades uh, with all different kinds of- When you say decades, it's frightening. You make it sound like it's six decades, <laughs> five decades. It's been three decades. Three decades, so. but you have worked in a variety of different mediums. You've done theater, you've done uh, television, movies, voice acting, and you're perhaps best known for Candyman, which is a seminal horror film. I saw that like you didn't actively seek out the horror genre, that no. it kind of came to you. Are you fine being associated with it? As kind to of a legacy. point, I understand fandom. There's no filter on it. Does it bother me? It depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. My daughter, Ariana, handled it brilliantly. When she was about four, Candyman had been out a couple years, and people kept coming up to us. Oh my God, oh my God. And she finally, she dropped a little shopping bag and said, that's not Candyman, that's my dad. <laughs> and it made absolute sense to me at the time. It was said so honestly and so directly. That I understood what she meant, to not give in to that all the time. To, you have to be able to say, no, this is my private life and uh, not in front of my family. I looked online to see if you had answered this question before, and maybe you have, but I couldn't find it. It okay. seems like an obvious like question. Ones. Okay. You're, you're best known for candy, man. What's your favorite candy? Have you been asked that before and I just couldn't find it? Uh, never. No? Nope. Never been asked that. That's uh, shocking. And I do have a sweet tooth. Commercially, uh, I don't want to, because I'm not, I'm not a commercial person, so I don't want them to take it as an endorsement. That's right. But I do like it when my fingers get buttery. Okay. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now, uh, what was it? What was the spicy thing that you said was gonna uh, be my my well, quest? You want to try this? You want to stick your finger in that? Okay. And like any good movie or any good script that we actors get, you got to put your finger in it first. Okay. Just like your grandmother touched it. <laughs> and when she baked you that wonderful cake, you got to taste the batter. Is it too hot? I think it's right at about my threshold. I'm gonna do this. I feel like I'm gonna cough. I'm gonna do this. I'm going for it. Now, right. this is the time to ask me your your, your hottest question. Candyman, uh, it's recently been discussed that it might be getting a bit of a remake. That's a very strong rumor, yes. Mm -hmm. With Jordan Peele attached. Mm -hmm. If you uh, were asked to uh, reprise the role, would you? It all depends on the script. I mean, just at this point, I care so much about the character that I want it to be done right. If they don't use me, I want them to use the best actor that appreciates the cultural significance of the role mm -hmm. and could bring something else to it that perhaps I missed or the script missed in the original. One of your first roles, and I think your first lead role maybe, was as Ben in the Night of the Living Dead remake. Was my first lead role. Which it was, was important. Yeah. yeah. And seeing Dwayne Jones, who originated the role of Ben, was yeah. an inspiration. I grew up in an era where Sidney Poitier was in every film. He was our sole African-American representative. And it was fine, but it felt a little goody-goody to me. It wasn't mm -hmm. necessarily real. It was uh, just refreshing the way George Romero created this character in the background of a zombie apocalypse into the world situation 
where your hero was this African-American man. And I asked George, rest in peace, yeah. I said, what made you cast Dwayne in the first place? He, said, he says, I didn't think of the role as black, white, Spanish, anything. Dwayne was just the best actor that came in the room at the right time. But because he was African-American, I think it put a whole nother stamp on the whole zombie apocalypse possibility. Yeah. You know, what happens if at the end of the world there's only five people and three of them don't look like you? Mm -hmm. And then we have to drop all of our pretenses and learn how to get along together to, for the good of the world. And those kind of stories have always appealed to me. All right, now we've come to the time in the show where we're gonna play a game. Oh my God. It's called, What Would You Do? What Would I Do? And I'm gonna put you in the scene of one of your favorite horror movies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I picked Rosemary's Baby yeah. by Roman Polanski, yeah. uh, 1968. I'm interested to see how you would react in one of these situations. But first, before I put you in this situation, okay. we got a bucket over here. It's been yeah. sitting here the whole the I whole noticed interview. that bucket. I didn't know if they hadn't finished the stain job or what. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's, Finish it up. <laughs> no, this is actually my chum bucket. Oh, okay. Which is a disgusting name, but that's what we're going with. Chum bucket. Yeah, and in here are a bunch of uh, a bunch of objects. Should I see before? Uh, no. no, you're actually going to draw a blind. Oh, okay. They, okay. they can be your tools okay. uh, in your reaction of how you would act in this situation. Okay. Okay? So uh, let's see what you get. A full bottle of champagne. Great. A taser with 2% battery left. Oh, so probably like one tase. A flare gun. A flare gun, okay. Okay. So you got a little bit of variety here. Yeah. But we're gonna ask you what you would do in the situation yeah. of that last scene. You just had a child delivered. Yeah. It was taken away from you. They said that it died, but you hear that baby yeah. coming from the other apartment. So you push through the closet, right, right. and here you are approaching. What do you do? Okay, so the first thing I would do, I would grab a hanger from the closet, okay? okay and I would go for their eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. And then I would take my taser, mm -hmm. because I want to go for the first male character that comes to me, the burly guy, that's gonna, and I would take the taser, and I would go for the scrotum. Oh, okay, that'll put him down. Put him down. 2% or not. That's right, 2%, boom, one good healthy shot. As he falls back, mm -hmm. I take that bottle of champagne, because I have a bottle, I pop the Ooh. I take my flare gun, and I make a on-the-spot flamethrower. Oh, fantastic. That was filled with grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> Some high-proof champagne. <laughs> Okay. That's how I would handle that situation. So they're so they're all subdued, it sounds like, but we yeah. still got this baby crying. So. Well, the baby, mm -hmm. since I'm eternal, and no matter what it looks like, or how many horns it has, or how many cleft toes it has, I would swaddle it with the nearest clothing from the people that have been hit on the floor by the by the champagne and the flare gun, and I swaddle it up, and I jump out the window with it, and hopefully we both. Oh, there is. Oh, ultimate self-sacrifice. That's it. Because yeah. I don't want the baby always like peppered with questions of its intent. Yeah, you don't want to raise it. Good, have no, a we're gonna aspect. go down together. Okay. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> it's 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 sad. It's tragic. But you know what? It's uh it's for the good of humanity. So, I appreciate that, Tony. As a as a human being, thank you. So, Tony, uh, what do you got coming up that people can look forward to as, as major fans of you, as everyone um, is? Well, we got, um, there's a movie I did called Immortal that's really good. Uh, it's a filmmaker from New Jersey. It's a quartet of stories, but it all deals with what happens when people are dealing with immortality. And also, I just did a pilot for um, a horror reality show Ooh. where I would be like a, a city traveler. Uh, investigating tales of horrific events. Well, I'm also writing. I have this great script called Sakeo that was commissioned by the uh, Dominican Republic Cultural Center oh. about baseball players. Sounds like we got a lot to look forward to. And, awesome. I and mean, to you. Congratulations to you oh, and hosting you. Dead Meat. Oh. And I hope it goes on for as long as you need it to or you want it to. Thank you. That's that's yeah. the best thing that someone can say. You know, Because sometimes people are like, I hope it goes on forever. And I'm like, no, I right. know how Maybe you not. want it to. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, excellent. Make the most of it while you're doing it. But yeah, thank you so much, Tony, for joining thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you, James. Wonderful conversation. Pleasure. Awesome. Fantastic. Watch new scary bits every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday.